we got three top games on the card today. Let's break them down and talk out some plays with my guy Ski here, guys. Sail over to the streets of Dallas here. We have the Dallas Mavericks land four and a half points at the house versus the New Orleans Pelicans here, getting back four and a half on the road. Uh, if you'd like to go with the money line for the Pelicans, you can get back plus 160. Uh, if you put the favor, the Mavs are land minus 185 in this one. Over and under set at 223 in this one. Ski, the Pelicans have lost nine straight games, right? And they're just flying in. They literally just got into Dallas uh, like 30 minutes ago as well. Uh, you see Jim McCullum tweeting about it, Larry Nance Jr. So uh, they did play really well, come out well versus the Nuggets in that one. But you got to admit, it's not a great travel situation for them as well. Nine straight games. I'm sure, sure it's super frustrating. The Mavs, worst ATS team in the NBA, Ski. How do we look at this game? It's tough. You know, this whole card for today is tough. So just know that when we're breaking down these games for today. Um, Pelicans, like you said, they've lost nine games in a row. It's extremely tough to go and try to catch this falling knife. I know they've gotten a little bit healthier now. You have Brandon Ingram back in the lineup. So maybe, you know, he can be the boost that they need to send him in the right direction. But I will not be putting my money on it. And at the same time, I don't feel that confident about Dallas. Yes, they win games at home. But do they cover the spread? Do they win by margin? Absolutely not. I have them as 18 and 9 straight up, but complete opposite against the spread, 9 and 18. So it's not a team that I trust to win by a few possessions. Um, but at the same time, as bad as the Pelicans have been looking lately, Dallas has been a better offensive team, been a better defensive team. They're at the house. I would, if gun to my head, I would take the Mavericks to cover in this one. Yeah, you know, I, I can't I can't look at the Mavs in this one. 17, 33, and two against the spread. Um, that's this literally dead last in the NBA, guys. And also, I watched this team. Uh, I watched this Mavs team really closely. Luca is starting to get really frustrated playing with these guys. I think he's really starting to file, uh, settle into them. Obviously, I mean they're really mincing Brunson, but even then with the rest, Luca's getting really frustrated out there, guys. So as a guy that watches the Mavs really closely, me personally, I wouldn't bet them anytime soon. Maybe they get out on the road, um, and 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 get some camaraderie or whatever built that together but this is a horrible spot in my opinion to bet the Mavs now is it a good spot to bet the Pelicans in my opinion no it's not especially with the travel situation I probably would get there with the Pelicans if they actually had like a normal routine but who knows maybe this new routine can get them off that nine game uh, lose streak because the normal routine has not been working for them boys man but Mavs are in the spot that I'd like to fade uh, there, this is the last game at home before a five-game road trip, and they have some big games coming up as well. Warriors, Clippers, Jazz, Kings as well, man. So huge home, st- a huge road trip for the Mavs coming up on deck. They haven't been the great cover spread, but like I say, with the Pelicans' travel situation, I wouldn't be surprised if the Mavs did get it done here, Ski. So um, that's a good point there, but really tough game to bet. Ski, what do you think about the total? You think this could be a, a under type of game? Well, if I look at, you know, both these teams, the last five games, I have the Mavericks playing at the second slowest pace. Pelicans, 18th. Pelicans, the third worst offensive rated team. And um, both teams kind of mediocre on defense. I, I'm i not sure how I feel about this total. I do know the Mavericks have went under five of their six games the last two weeks. But if I look at the home road splits for both of these teams on the season, I have a combined 34 and 19 to the over. So it's one of those games where I just don't feel comfortable taking either way on the total. I ask you, though, Jay, you know, you're you're from that area. You know, you know a lot about this math team. You follow them. You know, I just saw a report where. They said pretty much everybody can go except for Luca. Like, how, how do you think that makes them or how, do you think that affects them as a team moving forward as far as winning games and covering the point spread? Yes, I do. I think it f- affects him. I think it's already affected him. This team is not good. It's Luka and everybody else. He just had to go out for 53 points to beat the Detroit Pistons. Um, they were down double digits in that game, basically had to do everything to come back and win that game. So I'm all the way off this Mavs team. I know it's the record looks good, but when it comes to covering the spread, it, it's not good. It's Luka and everybody else. I feel like you double team Luka, make the rest of the team beat you, and you have a really good chance to win. Also, the Dallas is in the middle of an ice storm as well, so don't expect a full crowd. Um, 
in this one as well, guys. There's some other inside info. So no official place for us, but I know me personally, I want to lean Pelicans. I want to lean to the under as well, but the Pelicans travel situation uh, definitely probably hold me off in this one. But I'll be honest, I do think that they can get off their winning, their losing streak in this one versus this trash uh, Mavs team, man. And that was a good point by you, Ski, as well. If everybody's on the trade block, they might already start looking toward. Now, you could audition. So it's another, it's two sides of it. You could be auditioning, but on the other side, it's as far as the, the, the jailing and the uh, morale of the team, I believe yeah. it's way down right now. And Luca is, he's really starting to realize that this team is not that good, guys. So. Mm -hmm.